Heavy rain hits the Ottawa area as Archer's stablemates, Metal Branch Noble and I'm a Stand-Up Guy resume their rivalry for RCR's top trotter title. Outside first over, that's red carpet ready for Jacques Baudouin. Caught in the pocket, run baby, going three wide from the back of the field, run for the money, and they're hunting down Lions Shining down the stretch. Lions Shining on the inside, run baby to her inside in the middle of the pack, red carpet ready, and widest of all run for the money. It's going to be run baby just ahead of red carpet ready. It looked like Lions Shining for show. Two minutes and three fifths tickets. Now in the Rideau winner's circle, that's Run Baby, a four year old bay mare by He's Watching out of Jama, owned by breeder Michelle Nolette of Princeville, Quebec, trained by Marc Andre Simoneau. And that's her second win in her fourth seasonal start. Run Baby. Race one is now official. Three at three quarters, and Donna Tover continues to lead the way. The stretch looms ahead, and Monk is coming first over. Okahili looking for room up the inside. Donna Tover getting asked by Robbie Robinson, still coming on the outside. Monk and Donna Tover going to hold off the challenger by about a half length. Up for third, Eyes of Justice ahead of Okahili in 157 and 1. Over out of Anonym Hanover, owned and trained by John McMillan of Odessa, Ontario, bred by Hanover Shoe Farms of Hanover, Pennsylvania, and driven to victory by Robbie Robinson. That's the third win this season in the 21st 2024 start of Donna Tover. Congratulations, John and Robbie and Donna Tover. Moving to the rear here, and three quarters was reached all alone by front striding Stomper Tom, 128 flat, Stomper Tom versus the clock, as Ryan Guy gives him urging down the stretch, keeping him on task. That's Stomper Tom stomping them all this afternoon. The battle is just for place between MVP's daughter, who's second, up for show March 7, and fourth with sequence Hanover, 159, and three. Owned by Philippe and Wade Toussignon of Cardinal, Ontario, bred by Cynthia Graham and William Wolfrey of Workworth, Ontario, trained by Mike Armstrong and Flyin' Ryan Guy gets the win with Stomper Tom, who takes a new lifetime mark here of 159 and three in his second win of the year. Congratulations. And CrossFit behind him, a stand-up guy looking to go wide for the stretch drive. Needing some racing room here. War We Exalt on the inside with the plugs now pulled. Flying Ryan Guy asking him. War We Exalt coming up the inside. And now he's gone past Meadow Branch Noble for another victory on the class jump. A very close finish for place there. There was a place photo. Unofficial results are now posted with three War We Exalt, a winning three to two favorite for Ryan Guy, second in the place photo. Five, I'm a stand up guy. Third, two, CrossFit. And finishing fourth was the four, Meadow Branch Noble. Results remain unofficial. In one, two, three quarters, they're coming after Conquest, Sealster, and Guy Gagnon down the stretch, putting away the threat of a Mythic Gambler. Now the danger is American Frontier, American Frontier to his outside Mythic Gambler coming on, but American Frontier makes his radio debut a winning one ahead of Mythic Gambler. Up for show was All Star Cheddar, 154 and 4. Averett of Lebanon, Kentucky, and driven to the win by Pascal Berube. 
That's the second seasonal win for American Frontier, and he matches his seasonal best, 154 and four. Congratulations. Fingers Louie and trying to get involved as well. That's time to dancing, but he's pretty far back. Sun Chip trying to hold off the others. Sun Chip leads by two, coming on late party vibes up the inside, and it's going to be Sun Chip, but a close one for place. Coming up the inside, time to dancing versus party vibes. 155 flat, Fort Hope, and Steve McGill of Budley, Ontario, bred by LaVon Miller of Topeka, Indiana. Sunchip is now the official winner of race six. That's his first win of 2024 in his 18th start of the season in a seasonal best 155 flat. Congratulations. Right now, BBC King, 130 and 3. Hercules is coming down the lane, chased by Cleveland. You bet on the outside. Napoleon Hill getting some urging on the inside from Robbie Robinson, chasing to the wire. It's between Hercules on his outside. Cleveland, you bet. Hercules, Hercules pulls away from Cleveland, you bet. And Napoleon Hill for show in 201 and 3. Now in the Rideau Carlton winner's circle, it's Hercules winning from post eight, only the second trotter this year to do so at this track. He's a three-year-old chestnut gelding by Looks Like a Chippendale out of Noblesse, owned by Ecurie Provocante of Mirabelle, Quebec, bred by Ecurie Provocante, trained by Maxime Vallée, and driven to his second consecutive victory from Stéphane Brosseau, Point was reached in 126 and 3 with everybody coming after Beach Journey, who looks to journey down the stretch on the front end, keeping open lengths ahead of Next Best Company. But on the outside, Alessandra is coming on late up the inside. Beauty is blind, has found a late speed. It's a battle between those two, and Beach Journey prevails over Next Best. Beauty is blind. Coming back to the Rideau Carlton winner's circle, a place with which she's very familiar, is official winner, five, Beach Journey. She's an eight-year-old bay mare by Net 10 Eom, out of Diva Du Jour, owned by Ecury Guy Gagnon Incorporated with Frederic Gagnon of Gatineau, Quebec. Beach Journey is bred by Nathan Eicher of Spencerville, Indiana, and trained and driven by Guy Gagnon. Very happy winner's circle. That's the third seasonal win for Beach Journey. <laughs> and the leader, Lori Merchandise. They round the turn for home, and it's Lori Merchandise continuing to lead the way. Still coming, All-Star Ballerina. Also coming late is Best Girl in Town. It's a battle to the wire and a very tight decision between Lori Merchandise and All-Star Ballerina. Race nine is now official and winner. Number four, Lori Merchandise, is back in the Rideau Carlton winner's circle for her second seasonal victory. She's a three year old Bay Philly by sports writer out of Dulce Sealster, owned and trained by breeder Ketcha Leclerc of Mirabelle, Quebec, and driven to the win by Stéphane Pouliot in 159 flat. Three quarters in 128 and one, and still brewing behind them. Wild Dream Men isn't done yet. Spicy Redhead has some late kick, but they're chasing Show Me the Magic, who pulls ahead of Southwind Russian. Still coming, Wild Dream Men. And also, that's Mystic out there, chasing for third. Spicy Redhead, 
but it's Show Me the Magic over Mystic and Spicy Redhead, 158 and 2. Thursday at Rideau Carlton Raceway started off rainy, but it was a sunny afternoon for Donna Tover, who was the winner in race two for owner trainer John McMillan and driver Robbie Robinson. The three to five favorite went back to back and got his second consecutive win. This was his third win of the year in his 21st start of the season. Join us again on Saturday at the track for Tammy Forgey's handicapping contest, free to enter and a jackpot that has now reached $1,700. We'll be back with live racing Sunday at 6.30 p.m. Join us.